Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames, and in this video, we will be talking about Candace Owens being unhinged. And why I say unhinged is that um, Candace consistently goes after Lizzo. Lizzo isn't the only fat person we know. She's not the only fat celebrity, but for some reason, it seems as though Candace Owens really feels good about herself each time she attacks Lizzo. I know that obesity is a problem. I know that we need to limit ourselves, but listen, there are times when ish gets real. I've gained like over 40 pounds and sometimes I only have one meal in a day. I'll have two to three cups of coffee, but I ensure that my creamer has only five grams of sugar, five grams, and that's the limit, right? But I still gained over 40 pounds, you know why? Because I have Graves' disease, and the rapid weight gain is just out of my control until my thyroid function is under control. So I know that a lot of people who are overweight don't want to be overweight, and there are times when you have an autoimmune disorder, and you're just having back-to-back -back meals, you're just hungry than the usual. It doesn't mean that you're greedy. It means that your body is betraying you. It's not working as it should. Your hormones are all over the place. Your T cells are not balanced. And as such, you know, you have to be satisfying this craving, this hunger. And I really don't like what Candace is doing to Lizzo because of my personal experience. There are so many people who overeats and they really don't know why they're overeating and if they really do find the right doctor to do the necessary tests they will discover that something is going on there because guess what a friend of mine who has been gaining weight um weight rapidly at no signs of illness she has an autoimmune disorder and it's really disgusting of Candace Owens to be doing this. This is not the way you go about, you know, making a change and making someone realize that they need to change their habits and choose more, you know, healthier lifestyle because this can also drive Lizzo down the path of suicide. And what if tomorrow we don't have a Lizzo? What is Candace Owens going to say? You know what? I'm so sorry, but knowing how delusional and batshit crazy Candice Owens is at times, I doubt she will even do that. Don't get me wrong. I love Candice Owens, but fuck her in this moment. She's really disgusting, and she's really going overboard. Now, what Lizzo might be doing is unhealthy, but what Candace Owens is doing is equally unhealthy just the same, right? Kenny someone supposed, I guess Lizzo wasn't lying when she said throat hurts. But yeah, clinical obesity is still the number one killer in America. So let's stop glorifying it. But why not talk to your president? Why not talk to the Food and Drug Administration? Because did you know that? <laughs> Guys, if I should tell you some stories, you would think that, you know, I was telling a lie or something. I was on a medication and I went to do a drug test out of curiosity because I realized that my lips was twitching and all of that. And it was discovered that there was a high amount of a drug that is known to cause serious addiction in that medication. And immediately as I got that drug test, I flushed everything. My doctor didn't tell me that. My pharmacist didn't tell me that. But I noticed that I was craving a lot of sweets. My lips, my eyes kept twitching. And I know that that wasn't me. And I decided that I'm going to go into a lab. I'm going to explain to the lab technician. I'm not going to wait on the doctor to give me a refill. I want you to do this test. No, I want the results. No, I'm going to pay the money. And that's how I figured out. And the lab technician was like, what medication are you on? And I was like, I was on, I'm on this, this, this. And she said, oh, this is the one. This has a I amount. And we sat there and she looked into the amount. 
of that substance that is known to cause addiction. It had a high amount in it and it was causing me to crave a lot of sweets. So sometimes you really don't know what an individual is going through. And we have people, you see, this is what is messed up about life. We have people who are overweight and then they go in, they get the lap band surgery and they start dropping the weight rapidly. And they love the fact that they start dropping the weight rapidly. Then they go back and they get a tummy tuck. Then they decide to get a BBL. Then they decide to start doing things to their face. And people like Candace Owens are the same one who will sit and talk about that individual drastic transformation. When in reality, the person was initially trying to make people like Candice Owens stop bullying them. But here she is doing it. Bullying is unhealthy. Obesity is unhealthy. All of this shit is unhealthy. This is not how you go about helping people. This is not how you go about advocating for change. This is not how you go about, you know, pushing someone to, you know, the point where they say, okay, I'm going to get help. Candice, have you decided or um, seen it fit to say, you know what, I'm going to invite Lizzo on my show. I want to understand what Lizzo is going through. I want to understand how she sees herself, how she feels about herself. You have bought people from the LGBTQ plus community tickets to come to your show, they didn't show up. It doesn't mean because um, Lizzo is a celebrity, you cannot extend the same courtesy to her. Sometimes I honestly believe that Candace Owens don't like these people because of their money. Because I'm gonna tell you why. The moment that Beyonce started trending for her world tour, I said to myself, Candace Owens is gonna start attacking Beyonce and she's gonna use points. She's gonna use logics and I said I was going to do a video about it. And I said, you know what? I want to see if my intuition is proving me right. And two days later, there goes Candace Owens attacking Beyonce. No, she's entitled to, you know, a freedom of expression, you know, to say things as though she sees it. But to be attacking, you know, people all the time, even if you're right, it doesn't warrant you making consistent contents, attacking this woman's weight, you know, <laughs> it's wrong. It's not as though Lisa is saying to everyone, get healthy, you know, no, sorry, get fat, get overweight. It's your right to do so, you know, gain a few extra. She's not doing that. She's just living the life the best way she knows how to and the best way, you know, she can. And when you do this, you're only going to push her because some people use food to self-soothe. And each time an individual gets bullied, she may resort to using food to self-soothe. Now, Lizzo has blocked Candace Owens. Candace Owens is saying, Lizzo blocked her. It's because the truth hurts. It is really disgusting of Candace Owens at this point. It has gone too far. And she's going to get fired up and say, I don't care. I am right. I'm not going to apologize. I've always gotten the impression, and I've never said it out loud, that whenever Candace Owens is hurting personally, she projects that hurt onto celebrities. And we all talk about celebrities here, but I believe that when it reaches to a point where you're bullying someone for being overweight, you know, and you truly don't know what's going on with that individual, and you consistently talk about this one individual being overweight, you know, consistently, it is too much. And then it's not as though you're talking about this woman on your show. You're following her on Twitter. You're tagging her, commenting on pleasantries about her, tagging her repeatedly. And you're doing this on Instagram. That is trolling. That is bullying. That is harassing. It's too much. She's not talking about her. She's following this woman everywhere she goes and she's tagging. Oh, yes, but like Lizzo, as I spoke about Lizzo today, as I spoke about this to you know, it is excessive and it's too much. Um, at this point, it has gone to um, where it is extremely 
unhealthy, and Candace Owens owes Lizzo an apology. She could have invited um, Lizzo on her show to understand, you know, how she feels. Try to get an understanding of who Lizzo is because Candace Owens is within the capacity to do so, and she should have done so because chances are, if Lizzo actually shares her story, you may be able to help her, truly help her, and, you know, Lizzo might be able to truly help other people who are going through, you know, similar stuff as she is. And that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. See you all next time. Bye, guys.